What is up ladies and gentlemen, in this video we're going to take a look at our new colleague. Yes, we all have a new colleague and his name is Devin, right? So yesterday basically I have no clue what, what actually happened. So yesterday I was browsing my Twitter feed and I saw everybody yapping about Devin and I said, <laughs> what is that? Is the Prime Agent, did he make a joke about a Devin or something? I don't know. Uh, but apparently Devin is um, it, it, the post of cognition here. Today we are excited to introduce Devin, the first AI software engineer. And the first thing when I read this, 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 this quote, well, this high line, this, this title, I was actually a little bit smiling. I said, oh my goodness, man, what, what the hell is even going on? And um, let's, let's read it a little bit, right? So Devin is a new state of the art on the software engineer bench coding benchmark. Um, it has successfully passed practical engineering interviews from leading AI companies and has even completed real jobs on Upwork. Devon is an autonomous agent that solves engineering tasks through the use of its own shell, code editor, and web browser, okay? And when evaluated on the SVE bench benchmark, which is a very weird thing, which asks an AI to resolve GitHub issues found in real-world open source projects, Devon correctly resolves 13.86 of the issues unassisted for exceeding the previous state-of-the-art model performance of 1.96. This is actually garbage numbers, right? 13. Point, I mean... 13%? I mean, what? Hey, um, if you have 30% chance of survival, I would basically pray to God because you're not, it's not going to end up well. Uh, but hey, it's it's fine. So actually, when we read this, the most, um, the most scary thing of all this post is basically this thing here. Look at that. It's Scott Wayu, CEO of Cognition AI, and this guy is a human software engineer. And reading this human software engineer really, really is really scary, guys. This is the most scary thing I've ever seen, right? The human software engineer. So what I'm going to do, we, let's di dissect a little bit. What's going on? And do we need to be afraid? And yes, a certain people need to be afraid. And it, it's not the people we think. It's not the engineers we think that needs to be afraid. Uh, the people we think that are going to stick, they are the first one that's going to get replaced by or man, Devin here, right? So basically, we need to, what, what is Devin? Devin is basically a language model like ChatGPT, right, uh, or Llama or whatever, or all these other stuff. And it's probably fine-tuned and it's probably, uh, ex it, it, it has capabilities to query the internet and feed that information into itself again. You know how it goes. It's it's basically lang chain stuff um, that we already know, right? How is that trained? What data does it use? Well, it's using existing data, Reddit, GitHub, uh, Stack Overflow, it's basically trained depending on what kind of a fine tune you want. If you want to have a more of a, a coding, uh, uh, how do you call that? A GitHub Copilot kind of stuff, you need to train it on code, right? You, you cannot train it on, on a conversation. You really need to train it on code, on on um, issues and, and responses from that and all that stuff. So it's already, it's, it's trained on existing data. So that basically means that it can never ever come up with new stuff. So Devon cannot innovate. Devon can only replicate, predict based on what it knows, right? And if we think about, well, what kind of stuff is very deterministic and very replicatable in software engineering? Well, where the most information is, is, is available. For example, lead code, right? Reversing binary trees come up with, with uh, I don't know, FISBUS stuff and all these algorithms, which are very deterministic, which are very well documented, which are replicated in different languages over and over and over and over again. These tasks are basically perfect for Devon to fulfill. Right? To-do lists, even a Flappy Birds game, because there are one million Flappy Birds clones out there that it can learn from. Right? So of course, Upwork, the same thing. What's on Upwork? All these repetitive, repetitive tasks, right? All these simple tasks. I'm pretty sure Devin will complete that very well. So if we think about that, all these smart people that are basically speed running all these Google competition algorithm stuff, they are the lead code specialists and people, oh, I need to do lead code for my job. No, you just don't. Because all the people that are just doing this lead code stuff, these are the first people that are going to get replaced by AI. I swear to God. These are the first people that can hit the bricks and print new copies of their resume. That's the first one, believe it or not. Because 
this information is so easy replicatable by AI that we don't need a human for that anymore, right? As I've been saying this for a very long time, if you're doing lead code, you're doing it wrong. But hey, that's me, but you're gonna see the results very soon, right? So what is the big problem with AI here in, in, in our society is that what people are always afraid that AI is going to knock on your door with an AK-47 is going to kill your whole fucking family. That's not what's gonna happen, right? The most scary part of AI is that it's basically being trained on data that's already exist. And right now, right? Remember when ChatGPT came out? Oh, ChatGPT, responses, blog posts, everybody was using it to send mails and wow, to generate copy and everybody was a copywriter and it was amazing. But what do we see right now? Well, there are companies that are blocking ChatGPT responses. Right? If you send a, a, a GPT response, you're gonna get blocked. We are actually at the point that the human can already blind pick a response that's being sent by GPT or a human response, right? We don't need to think about it anymore. We can see it directly. Ah, that's ChatGPT. That's ChatGPT. This is by a human. This is by AI. We, we already know it, right? So we're already polluting ourselves, though, even for images, guys. What you need to do is go on Google and just search a uh, headshot of a female. You're going to get a bunch of pictures that are AI generated. So we are already fucked, right? We are already polluted society with the debt. AI will bring the debt amongst the living. And what's going to happen is that all these AIs are going to be trained on their own output, which is going to produce garbage, which this garbage is going to be feed back in into other garbage, producing again garbage. And what's going to happen is that society is going to set six, is going to basically going to have a setback. That's what's going to happen, right? Because we are not innovating anymore because they can't innovate. They just can't. So if we think about this, the people that can problem solve and come up with innovative ways, with creative ways of doing things, come up with new stuff, these are the people that are going to be very, very, very important in this society. Very important. Because if these people do not exist anymore, within this and 20 years, society is dead. The human, the human race is basically being held hostage by the AI they created themselves. Because if, you need to think about it, when I open the internet in the morning and I, I'm, I'm reading the news or something, and I see a picture, the first thing that I actually need to do is I need to look to this picture, I need to see what the fuck, is this actually, is this a real picture? Or is this even AI? We don't know anymore. We don't know anymore. We cannot, we don't know what's real, what's fake. Is this this guy's voice? Or is, is this guy even real? Is this a video? Is this a real video? Is this a produced video? We are basically at the point that we need to basically say that, hey, I'm a human. My name is Anthony and I'm a human. Gender doesn't actually matter anymore. You know what I mean? And we see this already coming, right? He hit. You can be whatever the fuck you want. It's all fine here. But we are basically proceeding ourselves into a, sp into a world where we need to say, yo, listen, I'm a human. Hey, I'm an AI. Well, hello, Devin. You know what I mean? It's like, it's very scary and it's very... People don't realize this what's going to happen. But I say it again, this and in a couple of years, it could be 10 years, we basically are going to live... The humans will live uh, amongst the dead and we're going to have a big setback and I don't know, maybe we're going to kill ourselves. Well, not kill ourselves, not exterminate ourselves, but we are basically going to be a slave. We're going to be held hostage by um, the AI we created ourselves and it's going to be a vicious circle um, that will produce, I don't know what's going on. I, my brain cannot comprehend what's going on, but... That's what I predict here, and it's very, very scary. So basically, what's the takeaway here, guys? The takeaway is that is this AIs that are coming up. Now it's Devin, tomorrow it's whatever. It's probably going to be a female, Amy or something. I don't know. Um, are these going to replace jobs? Yes, they will. Yes, they are going to replace, 100% sure. But who is it going to replace? Well, for the people that are basically uh, cannot innovate, the people that cannot create uh, the people that are replicate, these people are going to get out, boom. And I was thinking, 
like I said, the lead coach uh, artists, the uh, Google competition speedrunners, uh, these are going to get replaced because they are so stuck into their, uh, they are very, very smart, but that's the problem, right? Um, deterministic outcomes, you don't need to be smart for that, right? How does a burn any tree works? So I don't need to know that. Of course, I know it because sometimes you read the, the high level, the high level working of that stuff, but you don't need to need the internals, right? Why? Because it's just a waste of time. Because if you need one, it's already there, right? You just have a library and you're done with it. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's all these points. That's exactly where AI will come in and will replace the people. Um, boilerplate, all that stuff. So be, be very, very... And this is the same thing like I said before in my previous video. Like you need, to, you need to focus on problem solving. You need to focus on building. You need to focus on your end goal. Because all the noise with the S... Is going to be replaced by these devons here that can uh, quickly spit out some replicatable um, code. So, guys, don't say I didn't warn you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.